In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on choosing or modifying objects that you want to use as particles when you design particles on your own. Recently, I showed a clip that you see on the screen as part of an example of particle motion. But you notice that the particle I chose was probably not the best selection, or it wasn't perfectly edited to serve as a particle. The particle here is the word save with the white letters and the red border. But you notice as I play this, we'll see that the save here, we'll start from the beginning, has boxes around it. It is a PNG, which allows for transparent background, but the particle that I pulled off from a free site has a white border around the object. And obviously this doesn't look very professional. It would be nice if it was limited to the edge of the particle and you didn't see the overlap that you see here that was illustrated in the example I gave. So what can you do to make that particle better? Let me show you a simple example. To do this, it's going to require going to a photo editor. You can use Photo Director. Here I'm using Photoshop Elements, but in any sophisticated editor, you should see most of these tools available. Let me show you how simple it is to take out this white border and make it transparent. What I do in Photoshop Elements is I take the magic wand and I click on that in the upper left corner. And again, other photo editing software should have a similar icon. Then I click on the white. Then I right click and I choose Select Inverse. So now everything but the white is selected. Then I right click again and I click on Layer via Copy. And so now I have a new layer. I'm going to turn off visibility of the original layer. And now I have a new image where the outline happens to be absolutely transparent, which is what I want. Now I notice here I also have the gray area. So I'm going to take off even the, the gray outline. I don't have to, but I, I can do it by clicking on it with a magic wand. I'm holding down the shift key and clicking again. I'm going to select all areas of the gray. And it doesn't take too long since they're not in every location. And I'll do the same procedure. I'll right click and do select inverse. Right click and I'll do layer via copy. Now I'll turn off my layer one. And now my layer two does not even have the gray in it. So if this is all I want for my object, I can leave these two hidden and click on the file, save as, and we're going to save it as a PNG file, which allows for transparency. And I'll call it uh, save icon and click on OK. Now let's apply that in this project. I have a white background behind my truck. And then I have the truck on track number three. We're going to insert the particle in track number two. So what I'll do as I look at my object on the screen, I've resized the truck and we'll have the save come out from the hood of the truck, as it were, and move to the right. So let's create our particle using the modified version. So all I need to do is click on the particle room or press the F6 key. Click on the square with the plus in the lower right corner to create my own particle. Then we're going to go to the new one that I created called My Save. Here we go. That's the one we just designed. And then we'll start here. We'll have it move to the right, but we'll change the emit method. We'll go to spread. And with that, we need to change the parameters. We'll make it start out smaller. But you notice what we have. We look at the edges. There is no white there. And let's start right about over here. And we'll move up in this direction. 
narrow it down a bit and then we'll click on OK. It wants a name. We'll just call this test. And there's my save. Now here's the other one we did last time. I'll click on that. Notice the white boxes. So let's take the test one and take it and drag it down. We're going to put it on track number two. And then when we play the clip, we have these come out. And notice we, saw, we fixed our problem that we had before with the other particle is that even though they overlap as they should, we don't have a white border around the particle. So that's a simple way to modify an object in any kind of photo editing software and then apply it as a particle in CyberLink PowerDirector.